want to try something a little bit different this week. It's going to be sort of a mini tutorial on how I'm generating crew portraits now that the crew can have more than a few possible appearances. After that I'm going to talk a little bit about plans for trying to get this game finished by the end of 2020. So let's get started. Let's start with my photo booth scene. Every scene has a default viewport, but you can create your own if you want to render to something other than the full screen or game window. In this case, I'm creating 64 by 64 pixel portrait images with a transparent background. You can also prevent objects in the viewport from participating in the physics of the outside world by checking own world and then just creating a new world object. Now if I wanted to, I could render this viewport directly into the UI by adding a viewport container to my crew select button. All I have to do is instance my photo booth scene inside the viewport container. But before you can see it working, I'll have to actually add something to the photo booth. For now, I'll just use a simple cube to keep things simple. Now we can't see it here because it's in a separate world from what the editor is showing us. But if I save this and go back to the crew select button, you can now see one side of the cube. Now as is, this will keep re-rendering every frame, which isn't really what I want. I want to take just a single snapshot. So let's delete this viewport container and I'll show you what I did instead. I've placed the photo booth under the director in my main game scene. Over on the C++ side, the director manages a queue of crew that need to have their photos taken. Then, the director works through that queue in the process function, which is run every frame. In the beginning, there's no photo model copy, so the first time the queue is not empty, it'll create a copy of the model of the first unit in the queue. That copy gets added as a child of the photo booth and positioned so that we can see the face. Resetting the rotation here is just a temporary workaround because I currently have a rotation on the model in my unit scene to compensate for how different programs treat axes differently. Once all that's set up, on the next frame the director will get a texture from the viewport and then extract the image data for a snapshot of just this frame that won't get updated again. That image data is then used to populate the portrait texture. Now that this is done, the copy can be destroyed and the queue can be advanced. Then the last remaining step is to apply that texture to the thumbnail node inside the crew select button. And that's it. Now I'm auto-generating portraits for all of my crew, and I'll be using a similar process to generate icons for items and ships you can buy in-game. Now, looking back at the past year and a half, it's pretty obvious that I've slowed down since the beginning, and I think that's normal. For most big projects, it's easy to lose motivation over time, especially if you don't have a boss or coworkers to hold you accountable. The closest thing I have to that is you, the YouTube audience, because I don't want to put out more videos without some progress to show. I don't want to disappoint. But the more important reason I need to get this game done is I'm trying to make a career out of it. Fortunately, I planned ahead to give myself a lot of buffer time. In fact, I thought if this first game was a flop, I wanted to have time to make a second one before I run out of money and have to go hunting for a normal job again. So I'm not running out of time yet, but I do want to get this game done by the end of 2020, if at all possible. But that's not going to happen if I continue at the same pace I have been so far this year. I need to get focused, get motivated again, come up with a new plan, and possibly make some strategic cuts to the game design. So working backward from the end of the year, I want to set aside December for beta testing. That means in November the game needs to be basically finished, including all the balance and polish work that I think needs to be done so that I can spend December fixing the things that I didn't think of. So I want to spend October mostly on content, which means music, weapons, items, procedural event templates, anything that brings some variety into the game. And that leaves September for everything else. So I'm going to be working on the save load, the perk system, and any other gameplay systems or mechanics that aren't yet fully finished. Of course, that's only a very high level plan and I'll be working out a lot more specifics as I go, but I wanted to just give you a brief look ahead at how I'm planning on getting this done. In the meantime, it always helps me out if you hit the like button, spread the word, and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, thanks for watching.